Hey guys, so this is one of those art experiment crazy ideas I had in the middle of the night last night that might not work, but we're gonna try and see and I'm gonna do it on camera. Success or fail, we'll see what happens. So I have this idea to create something I'm gonna um, call art brittle. Um, think of peanut brittle and a little thinner and made out of resin and different weirdness in the resin that you've got laying around your art room. Um, not unlike, can y'all see this little like scrap of resin that was just stuck to the mold? Something thin. So we all have bits and pieces in our art room, um, different things we've done over the years, whether it's melting perler beads, like on this paper clip, or it's melting CDs, or something other, um, some other kind of thing like that. I do think I have something with a melted CD on it somewhere that I've done recently. Let's see. Oh yeah, here. That thing in the background is a melted CD behind that puzzle piece. Um, so we've all done those in the past. They're not the smartest thing to do. They're not the safest thing to do. Those kind of things aren't made for doing that. But I thought, what if we could get a new kind of embellishment a little easier? Not that we won't ever do the other ones. Of course, if you choose to do them, please do them safe, safely and follow all precautions. Um, but what if we did something with resin? Now resin in itself, you need to use some precautions. You can see I have gloves on. Um, I've got some molds on a cookie sheet, so in case they spill, the mess is contained. Um, you need to follow the package instructions for your resin. I am going to use Easy Cast because I have some and it will work just fine. And um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spray these molds with some mold release. Although they are silicone molds, sometimes the resin will still stick a little bit. And I don't want to take a chance of tearing my mold. So we're going to spray them all. I want to do this on a big like a silicone baking sheet, but I had trouble finding one today, so I have some on order. So if this works, we'll be doing more of these. And I will probably be selling the Art Brittle on the Etsy store in little small, like random packages of little bits. So anyway, so we've got those sprayed. Now we can set them aside. My desk is a mess, but that's okay. I've got my scale here, a well-loved, oops, art scale. I don't want to turn it on yet, wait. So you guys want to now it doesn't want to go off. I think it's time to probably get a new scale because I've been having issues with it. Come on. Doesn't like my gloves, there we go. Um, so you want to put the cup on it first and then when you turn it on, it'll be at zero. It won't count the weight of the cup, theoretically speaking. See, there you go. I don't want to make too much resin because I want thin, remember I said thin. Um, so I'm going to pour equal amounts of part A and B. I'm going to do no more than 0.2 ounces of each. If it, oh, there we go. There we go. And then the other one. It's turning kind of a little bit of a yellow, which means I want to use it up, but it won't be a big deal for what we're going to do it do with it. There we go. That is my clock downstairs, the chiming. <laughs> okay, so now we've got our two parts. I can turn this off and set it aside. Now we're gonna get out our timer and I'm gonna set it for three minutes and I've gotta stir this for three minutes to make sure it's well stirred. So I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so now we're gonna pour thin layers in as many of these molds as we can get this little tiny amount of resin to go. And by thin, I mean thin. I'm going to just pour a little bit into each one. 
putting a little less in this oval shape because it's a smaller mold. And it's not about filling the mold anyways. Okay. We're not going to go too far with the popsicle stick. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my, again, well-loved um, torch. You can see I probably need a new one. So we're going to just pop all the air bubbles because once I add what I'm going to to this, then we won't be able to get to that. So I have all these gilding flakes and evidently, um, not long ago I bought these Nouveau gilding flakes in the gold, silver, and copper and evidently I forgot I already had gold and silver in indigo blue, but that's okay. <laughs> so we're going to use some of these gilding flakes. These go a little bit go a long way. Don't sneeze while you have them out. So we're going to just dump some. I think for this first try, I'm just going to try to do all colors. I'll put links to where I can't help. Did I mention don't talk while you have the gilding flakes open? Holy cow. Alright, then we want to take our little like popsicle stick and we want to just sort of stick the gilding flakes in the resin that's in there. It's not going to be all flat. This is just our first layer. We want to do a few thin, small layers and not a bunch of thick layers. So I just want to push them around, mix them up a little bit, and again, get them coated with the resin so they stick to the bottom of the mold and they stick to the finished piece. And when we put in another layer, they don't float to the top. Now as you're doing this and you're creating these pieces and you're playing with the gilding flakes and you're pushing things around with the popsicle stick, the popsicle stick itself is going to end up being some kind of um, sparkly crazy embellishment that you can use in other mixed media pieces. So don't forget that. Okay, so that's it for right now. Can you see that? We're going to let that dry for a minimum of 12 hours and then we're going to come back and we'll add another layer. We're going to do that two or three, maybe even four times. And this is what I'm talking about with the stick. When that dries, that could be something interesting too. So don't necessarily throw that away right away. All right, that's it for the moment. I'll be back. Okay guys, we're going to mix up some more um, resin for our art brittle. What we have in here is dried. Um, it hasn't been quite 24 hours, but it is dried. I'm going to try to like, get some of this stuff off the edge and just, there we go. So I've got another couple, um, not even an ounce, um, 0.4 ounces of resin and I put some turquoise colored glitter from Target in it. And we're going to pour this in as our next layer. I put the glitter in the resin uh, because doing it we, the way we did the uh, metal flake would be um, really difficult to say the least. I'm going to spread this out a little bit and this one I'm not going to wait for it to dry. I'm going to go ahead and 
mix up just a little bit more resin, just clear. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pour it over these. After I spread this out a little bit. But the reason for doing this this way again is because the glitter would just be all over the place and it would float to the top. It's harder to handle than the metal flake, so it's easier um, to do this with it. Okay, let me mix up. I'm just gonna use the same cup so there'll be some glitter in it, but that's okay. Okay, so this time I did about 0.6. A little bit more. So the idea is to make a bunch of thin layers. So you want the overall product to be thinish, thick enough that you can, of course, peel it off in one piece, but thin enough that it can be cut um, with some shear, some heavy-duty shears, if nothing else, or broken in half. So that's our goal. Okay, we're back to the art brittle again, and we've mixed up, mixed up a little bit more resin. I've got a little bit of a dark gray pigment powder here. Don't exactly know what color it is. I have a bunch of pigment powders. I thought I'd put a little bit in what I think is going to be the last little bit of resin. I have 0.6 ounces again mixed up. So a little bit more than the first two times. I've already stirred it for the requisite three minutes. I don't want this to be too dark, so I'm going to just put a little bit in and see how what color, kind of color that is. I think that's pretty good. I still want it to be kind of transparent just not maybe completely clear. So I think that's exactly what I want. Let's move some of this stuff out of the way. And before anybody asks, I don't remember what brand of pigment is. I have no idea. Probably Perlex, but I don't actually remember. All right, so I'm gonna pour a little bit of this into each one again. We're not looking for perfection. We're looking for something interesting and textural that we can use in whole or in part in our mixed media. We're looking to make an embellishment. So let go of the idea that this needs to be some kind of perfect thing because it doesn't. I'm going to put some more butane in my torch and we're going to pop a few bubbles. So there we go. Now we're going to let it dry overnight and we'll see what happens. Now if you're not comfortable working with resin and doing something like this, you could still do this in a small molded container with a some kind of clear coat like Deco Arts clear pouring top coat or probably Mod Podge. You have to let it dry to completely crystal clear in between layers, but I don't see why you couldn't do it with that. Um, instead of working with resin. I have resin, so I'm going to use resin. All right, that's all being said and done. Um, we're going to let it dry, and I'll be back. Hey, guys. Okay, so here are our pieces of art brittle, and I un unmolded this one, and this is what I'm talking about. So you have this thinner piece of resin with filled with color or glitter or different art bits you can use in whole or cut it apart and use parts of it um, in your mixed media and art pieces you will notice this is still a little flexible it's not really fully cured i don't think it's been completely 24 hours so i'm gonna let it sit it may stay a little bit flexible because it is so thin but you definitely could I'm going to grab a couple of examples. You definitely could take this little piece of art brittle and use it in some of these um, mixed media um, compositions. I don't know what else to call them. These are uh, obviously paper clips, but you could use this whole or in part in some of these kind of things, or ATCs, or um, some sort of wall hanging, mixed media wall hanging. I think it's an interesting mixed media art part. 
I will be making more of these at some point and put it, listing them in the Etsy store. If I don't have them available at the time of filming, um, you can message me and ask me about them. I, uh, if I have them, there'll be a link in the video description. So anyway, really cool. And they do pop out very easily. which has at least in part to do with not only are these molds silicone, but um, I sprayed, remember we sprayed them with, um, what do you call it, what you who's it? <laughs> mold release. And so, yeah, and the idea is not to um, fill the mold because I like, I like this uneven edge. And you definitely could um, also use paint skins. So if you have um, acrylic paint skins from, um, pouring or just paint that's dried on your palette, you definitely could use those too. Oh, this one's stuck a little bit, so that's interesting. Let's see if we can get that off. This mold's a little interesting. You hear that? There's voices outside. Yeah, this, this, mold, this mold might be a tosser. Not only is it not flat, it's stuck, despite the mold release. But this coaster mold is great. And I did get some other bigger molds, so I'll be working with those too. And I'll link those bigger molds in the description below, although I didn't use them in this video. Oh yeah, well, this is gonna be a tosser. You can get these silicone molds in um, a lot of craft stores, and usually in the like cake and candy making department. There we go. So I really like this one, despite the fact that that mold has issues, um, because it's like, I'll oh, see that, yeah. I love the uneven edges. So anyway, I'm going to be setting these aside to dry more thoroughly, and of course, probably starting some more. But I hope this gives you some ideas of what you can do to make your own unique mixed media art parts. Give it a try, see what you think, and if you come up with any other unique ideas, I sure would like to hear about them. Leave something in the comments below. If you make a video, let me know about it. Post it over in A Life of Art and Self-Expression. And yeah, go out and have a great day. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you want to check out my links of where to shop in the Etsy store or where to follow me on social media or where to send me happy mail or any of that stuff, look in the video description. Have a great day and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it and I'll see you later. Bye guys.